If you are fascinated with the look of the stones and rocks as much as I am, then you will absolutely love this technique. It's so easy and so beautiful. Let me show you now. If you work on a person, shape her nails and apply color. It doesn't add extra thickness to our nails. I'm using in this video six different colors from Mosaic. These are gel polishes, but you can use anything. It can be gel paint or gel polish, doesn't matter. You can also use this design just on the builder gel. It would look great as well. For this design, I'm using Mosaic Sugar Dust Black Glitter and I am also using white snow glitter and some neon colors I bought long time ago. Make sure that particles are not too big. I will use Thin Builder Gel from Mosaic It's Eyes. You can also use Top Coat or any gels with thinner viscosity. We are going to add our snow glitter to our clear gel and apply it to our background we prepared already. So I'm mixing a little bit, adding a little bit of snow glitter to my clear and applying with super thin layer on the color. We need at least two colors on each background. Usually it's white and black, they look very sharp and create this uh, granite look. I flash cured it. Now I'm applying my black cure. I decided now to add all black, black on all my tips first and after I will add another color. You can add more black or less black, more white or less white. It depends from effect you're looking for. So you better have at least two colors and I think two colors look sharper. But like example on the black color, we can't add black snow glitter at, as we won't be able to notice it on our black background. We will add to our black background white and another color or snow glitter, maybe something neony. So this is how it looks already, even if you leave it just like it is. But we will continue to work and we will add more colors because we only had one color applied. So now we are adding white to all of our tips. Because we enable to see white snow glitter on the white background, we are going to add neon green to it. So we can see a little bit different color. So we have two colors, black and green neon. Also, as a second color, we are going to add neon orange to our black. I add a little bit neon orange to our purple color as well just to get something different. You can leave just two colors if you would like to. To our green, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of neon yellow 
Again, I can leave it as it is, but I would like to see how it will look like with adding third color to it. So this is how it looks now, with all colors applied. At this point you can finish your design and add top coat to it. But we are going to add Vitra White. Vitra, this is see-through white gel. We have different colors of it, but we are going to use white in this technique. It makes our design more foggy, not that contrast. So. Let's see what we have after our vitra. You can add more or less vitra, it's up to you. Or you can leave it without vitra as well. Just apply top coat, gloss or matte and you will have different look. On these tips, on all of them, I'm going to use white vitra. You will notice how much softer our designs will look like compare with designs which have no vitron gel on top. Again, you don't have to use it, I just want you to show you the difference. In our last design you can see how bright it was and how much calmer it looks with vitra gel. I think it looks more like stone look. So I'm going to use matte top at the end and I will show you the picture which we get. The top row on the picture is with vitra gel and bottom row without vitro gel. Which one do you like more? I hope you enjoy this video. We'll see you next one.